What is going on with my ticket? And who's working on it? How did they fix that problem last time I called? How can I submit a support ticket even though the phone lines are closed? Well, the answer to these questions is the AskComp online support portal. You see, here at AskComp Technologies, we're always looking for ways to empower our customers. And this unique and powerful tool gives you the ability to do things such as see the technician's name that's working on the ticket, read their detailed notes, and even give you 24-7 access to submit tickets. In this video, we're going to show you how quick and easy it is to submit tickets through the support portal. First thing you need to do is go to our website, www.ascomp.com. And from this main web page, you're going to go to our customer login option on the top right corner. Once you get to this screen, if you don't have a login, please be sure to send us an email to support at askcomp.com requesting access and we can give you your own username and password or give us a call at 480-730-3055 and ask to speak to the support department. Once you receive your login information, you're just going to enter in your email address and the password that's been given to you. From the main screen, to create a ticket, you're just going to click on this green button over here on the top right that says Create Ticket. Creating a ticket is so simple. It's as easy as one, two, three. The first step, you just select the service that you need, whether it's Metasoft support, Litex support, electronic medical records support, uh, even office hours or revenue management. So in this example, we're going to do Metasoft support. And just give it a title, a main uh, detailed description of what the problem is. So we're just going to say on this issue that having uh, connection problems with Metasoft. And give it a little bit more detail under the problem description. Say it's a 6420 error on one computer. And then step three is just verify your contact details. Make sure you've got your contact name here, the best number to reach you, and also an email address so that you can get an email with the ticket number and any other details that pertain to this issue. Finally, just click Submit. And that's it. If you want to see the activity on the ticket uh, or who might be working on it, any recent status updates, just click on this ticket option at the top and you can see the ticket right here waiting for it to be responded to. And that's it. You've successfully created a service ticket. From the home page you have a feature here on the top right corner area called Knowledge Base. And what this is for is to be able to search anything within any of the tickets that you've reported or that the technicians have worked on. This can be useful for if you're ever trying to figure out how we corrected that one problem that's coming up again. So for example, let's say you're getting this 6420 error again and you want to see what we did to fix this. So what you do is just type in on the knowledge base just a few keywords or the error number and then click search. It's going to bring up a list of tickets that, are, that have that 6420 in it in this case it's just this one ticket just click on the link and you're going to be able to see the troubleshooting notes the technician notes right here in the discussion area and it's going to have a timestamp and also the tech that had been working on it and what the current status of the ticket is another place where you can find out uh, a place a database where all your tickets are stored whether they're open or they're closed is from this tickets tab up here it defaults to the current open tickets, so if you want to look at closed ones, just put a check mark over here on the left. And then, just like the knowledge base, type in a few keywords of the summary, or if you want to list all of your tickets, just have these two boxes checked and click on search. You can also narrow it down by specific staff members in your office that you've also set up portal accounts for. Uh, the different people that reported the issue, you can see a list of their tickets and even the ticket number. 
So this is a quick and easy way to be able to search for tickets within your account and use it as a knowledge base.